Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, have you seen the latest uh, COVID-19 vaccination advert aimed at pregnant women uh, from what used to be called Public Health England, but is now sort of curiously called the UK Health Security Agency, or HSA? And there's a link to the video in the description box below. Uh, but before I show a clip, uh, you've got to bear in mind the woman speaking on behalf of the HSA, a Ms. Nurin Abdul Aziz, uh, is employed by Imperial College London, uh, which was granted an astonishing $79 million uh, by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in March 2020, which oddly enough is the exact same month that the great Covid emergency was announced in lockstep around the world. Uh, anyway, here is Ms. Aziz. If you're pregnant, it's important to protect yourself and your baby this winter by getting your COVID-19 vaccine. Pregnant women are more vulnerable to severe complications from COVID-19, such as pneumonia, as pregnancy puts a strain on your lungs and changes the way your body handles infections. Women who do develop COVID-19 are known to have an increased risk of giving birth prematurely and sadly stillbirth. Okay, is what she said actually true, or is it government-sanctioned misinformation or disinformation? And an easy way of finding out is to look at the government's Office for National Statistics website, uh, which tells us the following. In 2020, when COVID-19 was purportedly wreaking havoc across the country and the vaccines were not yet in sight, uh, 3.8 babies out of every 1,000 born suffered a stillbirth. And this figure of 3.8 was the lowest instance of stillbirths uh, since records began in 1927. In 2021, after the introduction of mRNA vaccines, there were 4.1 stillborn babies out of every 1,000 births, and this represents a 9% increase over 2020. And in 2022, there were four stillborn babies, which was much the same as 2021. Now, this contradicts entirely the statement from Ms. Aziz, which surely blurs the lines between informed consent and blatant misinformation, no? And Miss Aziz has also stated this. Hundreds of thousands of pregnant women across the world have been vaccinated against COVID-19, and it is clear that vaccination is safe for both you and your baby. Again, is what she said actually true? And bear in mind, she said, it is clear the vaccines are safe. But the reality of the situation is that no va uh, vaccines or medicines are 100% safe. They all come with a risk and drugs are usually only issued when the risk of the illness outweighs the risk of the drug. Excess deaths in percentage double digits are occurring all over the West at the moment. Scientists and big pharma executives have admitted that their uh, mRNA products do come with a rare risk of blood clotting issues, so might this be responsible for the rise in stillbirths and unexpectedly high excess adult death rates? It's, it's a fair question. It might, it might not, but it cannot be discounted, and nor should a representative of the HSA just blithely announce a vaccine to be clearly safe when a rise in the number of stillbirths and excess deaths remain an unexplained and uninvestigated reality. And the HSA put this advert out on Elon Musk's X Twitter X platform. Close to a million people have watched it, only 200 like it, and some 2,500 felt uh, sufficiently moved to angrily comment on it. And this brings me to the nub of the matter, which is that people no longer trust the national organisations whose sole remit is to look after our health. And reading the comments beneath the video, there are, there are many who want the people working for the HSA to be prosecuted, imprisoned, or worse. Why is the HSA happy to trash its reputation in their push to vaccinate pregnant women? Why is the HSA willing to utilise what some might consider to be misinformation uh, to promote the mRNA vaccine? Now, there's something very odd about the fanaticism surrounding this one particular vaccine. Why is that, do you think?